Hey there, you're welcome to another tutorial and I will show you how to use auto-tune correctly on your vocals. Now this tutorial is going to be step by step and it's beginner friendly while you're also going to get pro results. So it's important you stick through and understand how I use each button in auto-tune. Because if you know how to use each button, you will surely know how to use auto-tune on any vocal type, alright? So if you're new, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Alright, so I have auto-tune loaded up on the vocals. So let me turn it off and we hear the vocal sounds. Sleep at night, no more. This only is my dinner for door. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my atrop and for door. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give my life for you. This is more than love. This more than enough. For a girl I met yesterday. I met yesterday. Now the artist did really well, right? He hit some notes, but there are some notes that he was a bit flat, okay? So this one thing you should know when you use your auto-tune is it can't dramatically change you from a very bad singer to a very great singer, okay? It can just simply smoothen out and improve your performance. Okay, that is just what auto-tune does, it improves your singing performance, all right? So now let's get the vocal type. So this vocal is typically within, that's for most guys, okay, or most male um, folks, is typically within the alto tenor and the low male. Where you usually hear soprano is for artists that sing on really high pitch or really high key, okay? So if your artist isn't hitting those high notes often, you really don't need soprano, okay? I'm, I'm going to stick with alto tenor for this guy. Then the low male is for most um, vocal types where the voice is just like, you know, has some bars, has some weight to it, okay? So I'm going to stick to auto tenor. Then the key is another imp very important thing that you need to set in auto tune, okay? If you don't know how to find the key of the beat, you can simply use this free website called TuneBat. You can simply just drag and drop your beats in here, okay? TuneBat forward slash analyzer. So when you load up TuneBat, you can simply just drag your beats in here, TuneBat forward slash analyzer, okay? Just drag and drop your beats and need to tell you the key instantly, okay? So the key for this song is actually E major, okay? So I'm going to come to E major. Now, there, there's a mix-up right here on the beat itself. It says B major. It's supposed to be E major, actually. That's a typo in the name of the project. That's why you always have to cross-check because you may get a song and the key may be um, misnamed, okay, or maybe wrongly named, all right? So it's best you do a double-check to make sure it actually tallies. Okay, so now we've set the key, okay? So this basically means and at any point where the artist is singing, it's going to stick within the scale of E major, okay? Then the next thing we need to set is the retune speed. This is actually how much auto tune you hear okay how much tune effect you hear so let me turn it on and i'm going to exaggerate this so that you hear what it does so let me play the vocal sleep at night no more this only is my dinner for joy i go meet my doctor make it come out my heart drop and for joy girl i could give it all i swear if i turn it off sleep at night no more this only is my dinner for joy i go meet my doctor so you can see it sounds so robotic and you know so auto tuned ish okay unless it is if vibe you are going for that's fine but most people do not want this vibe on their vocals okay so you typically want to relax this and while you know there are certain um numbers you can stick to to tune your vocals i recommend if you want like heavy tuning on your vocals maybe like five like this that's the retune speed between five to about ten okay then that is like heavy re and retuning speed okay and if you want maybe moderate i'll say about from 10 to 20 okay and if you want like let's very light retune speed maybe like you hit most notes like this guy did you just want to like even out some parts that you didn't hit properly i recommend like 10 sorry like 20 to 30 or 40 okay but this or this this varies okay sometimes you may need more or less okay but this is kind of like a guide that will help you out in um getting the retune speed properly okay so i'm going to just take this to let's say about um um 30 something and see how it sounds. Sleep at night, no more. This only is my dinner for joy. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. So if you hear it, you don't hear much of that auto tune effect anymore. But now the uh, the keys that he missed are now corrected. If I turn it off. Sleep at night, no more. This only is my dinner for joy. So if you hear this part right here. Night. It was a bit flat there when I turn it on. So you can see it was a bit flat there, so this helps correct it. Now, unless if you want 
the artist to have maybe more exaggerated tuning effect because some artists even though they can sing they actually want that exaggerated tuning effect then you can surely dial it up no more, this only is my genius, no job. I go meet my doctor, make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear, girl, I could give my life for you. This is more than love. This more so you can see, yeah, it sounds more tuned issue. Okay? And like I said, it's important you know what this button does so that you know anything you are doing is intentional. All right, don't do things, you know, you don't have too many happy accidents or rather too many accidents when using when tuning your vocals or when mixing generally it's important you actually know what you're doing okay so now we understand how the retune speed works okay it's a very simple button just dial it up and down to get the level of tuning you want all right then the next thing we need to look at is the flex tune okay this is a very important button as well so because basically when your vocals move between notes okay when your vocal when your vocal moves between notes so instead of having that straight because this way the program works it just flat lines like the transition between the previous note and the next note but when you increase the flex tune it allows it to deviate to sound smoother and more natural okay instead of having that sharp cuts okay so i may just take this up here just halfway okay this there's no number i can recommend it always depends on you and how much um processing you want to hear on your vocals okay so let me just take it halfway we hear how it sounds no more, this only is my genius for job. I go meet my doctor, make it come out my heart drop and for job. If you observe, you can hear less of that tuning effect. Like it's, it sounds more natural now, but when I take it down. No more, this only is my genius for job. I go meet my doctor, make it come out my heart drop and for job. Girl, I could give it the last my heart drop and for job. Make it come out my heart drop and for job. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give it all I swear. I could give it all I swear. Girl, I so you can see that's because the transition between each note in the vocal is now smooth. Okay, so it makes the tuning a lot clearer. Okay, a lot more transparent. So you can dial it up as much as you want. If maybe the vocal, the artist missed a lot. A lot of notes in this song you can actually increase the retune speed okay to make sure it locks the vocals in the right pitch or in the right keys okay then you can use the flex tune to make it sound more natural okay so i'm using it to take this back to about 10 or 12 okay then bring this back down all right so you can combine these two like these buttons the retune speed and the flex tune to get you know a, a style that that fits the artist's vocal that you're currently mixing okay and also don't forget that i have my private one-on-one -on -one coaching class where i'll teach you how to make beats how to mix and master if you're interested you can fill out the form the link is in the description below so let's get back to the tutorial so the next important tool that really help you out when tuning your vocals is the humanized button okay so let me take the vocal to a place where that is actually held in notes for a while let's see here let me turn up the beat so you hear it properly all right so now it sounds tuned very tuned okay and doesn't have a lot of expression in that point so if i increase the humanized let me just take it to the max hear the difference so you can hear when he hits that note it sounds more expressive when the humanize is turned up right and when the humanize is turned down it sounds more controlled and tuned so it depends also on the vibe you're looking for okay if you want a more transparent tuning when he hits those or when your artist hits those long sustained notes or where they do like a quick vibrato where they like move between those very fast you can increase the humanize to preserve that expression okay if not to tune sometimes it's going to crush it and make it sound flat okay so or if you just want it to sound flat and tuned you can just reduce the humanize leave it at zero or just tweak it you know to any number you really hear that sounds best for the vocal okay so when you are tuning vocals they are keep places that you actually need to listen out for okay 
overall how it sounds does it sound too tuned does it sound like it still needs some tuning okay next it does it sound like the transitions between notes is sharp okay that's where you use the flexion to correct that and then third when is when the artist is hitting long notes or notes that have like very quick transitions between notes does it sound like it's robotic or does it sound very clean and transparent okay so when you fix these three key areas in your vocals when tuning your vocal is going to always sound great in the mix okay so let me just take it up here i want to preserve a little bit of that expression because the artist doesn't like you know excessive tuning on his vocals actually he wants to preserve some of that character in his vocal okay some artists like it some do not so it's important you know who you're mixing for okay so let's play it again and see just me counting, counting. Me, I know if it's of this Marty Marty's. So, girl, you know the four. I know fit to break your heart. No, be playboy, but I get it at So, oh, oh, oh. Say, girl, you don't keep me young again. Make you no go for my handy. Oh, my gosh, they drive me crazy. But you like everything. Yeah. The reason my head's a mess. I don't even sleep at night no more. So, you can hear how it sounds tuned and controlled. If I turn it off, you can already hear that first part sounds flat. You can hear those different, you can hear that difference, right? So good tuning really helps, you know, tighten up your vocal performance, make it sound a lot better, okay? And like I said, auto-tune or rather tuning your vocals is not the place for you to transform a very bad vocal recording into an amazing singer, okay? It's a place where you fine-tune your performance. But what's important in the vocal performance is the expression and the delivery, okay? Tuning, getting the tuning right or hitting the note sometimes is not always, you know, the forefront of what makes a good song. Sometimes, or rather most times, is the performance. Because you can actually do some pitch shifting and hit the notes you miss, but you, there's no plugin at least that I know of that can bring a performance, that can bring expression, that can bring a feeling in a vocal recording, okay? So getting your artist, or if you are the artist, performing the vocals in a way that captures emotion, that shares, you know, emotions really, really goes a long way in making your song sound a lot better, much more than any plugin can do, okay? So all plugins generally for me can just help fine tune what you've done. So it also falls down to the vocalist and make sure that the vocals is well recorded, then the mixing and the tuning process would be, you know, a, a breeze, okay? So if you found this helpful, please hit the thumbs up so other people can find this video and subscribe for more tutorials like this. I remain so classy. See you soon. Cheers.